Hi, my name is Adam Shirkus. Uh, I'm currently nine months sober. I would never use drugs. Um, been drinking for a little over 35 years. I uh, started as a teenager when my father passed away. Mom took on two jobs. Had no guidance in life. So I drank nearly all of my teen and adult life uh, until November 28th. I got arrested again for my third DUI. Went to jail. Was in there for a little over two months and didn't want that life anymore. Got offered drug court, came out. Got into drug court, nervous, skeptical, same as everybody. Don't know if that's what you want to do in life. Don't know if you're ready to quit. Don't know anything. You just have a normal, always drinking or drugs. It's just the norm in your life. But I needed to give it a chance. I have a six-year-old daughter. I don't want to be an absent father. Uh, I just want to move on with my life. Everybody talks about clean, sober life. It's better. We all heard it, laughed about it. It's not for us. I'm not a quitter. Well, I did it. And I give it a wholehearted chance. Started doing my AA meetings, 90 and 90. After the 90 was over, go every day, every other day, get a sponsor, start working the steps. And you realize it's true. It's a better life sober. Change your people, places, and things that used to be your running group. Um, you just have to jump into it. If you're going to do it, do it for you for a better life. If you don't do it for you, you're not going to do it for somebody else. You'll get frustrated and you'll say, I'm not doing it for them. Or you just won't give it a wholehearted chance. So in the drug court, in AA, nine months now, um, healthier, happier, in a lot better mood. I sleep better. Life is good. Um, saving a lot of money, not going check to check from bar to bar. Bills are paid, getting ready to buy another house. I'm just, it's good, but you have to stay focused with it. You have to stay faithful to it and you have to do it for yourself. Um, it is selfish. You're going to find that meetings are tedious, take up a lot of time. The steps are hard to face. I've done a lot of things in the past. I've ruined a 20 year marriage, ruined military career, uh, ruined fire department career, drank it all away. Now I have the opportunity to get back into it. Sober people do realize who I was and they're still skeptical, but I'm going to move on. I'm going to keep going, keep doing what I need to do to have a good, sober, healthy life. And it works. Um, I thank my family. I thank law enforcement. I thank Charlotte Behavioral Mental Health. I thank everybody that forced me into something that I like. It's a good life. It's getting better. You're still going to face hard times. You're still going to face judgmental people. You're still going to face the stressors that made you drink or drug before. Now you don't have to drink a drug to solve them. Just take them one at a time, move on. You can fix half of it. You can't fix half of it. Move on. Um, I hope if you do this program and you do it wholeheartedly, life works out for you. You get a better job. You'll have more successful relationships. They'll be easier to have relationships with the right people. Don't fall back into people that are using or alcoholics because it'll become your way of life again. Yeah, family life gets easier. Your family starts to accept you more. 
your friends that are true friends, not just drinking and drugging friends, accept you back and realize what you're doing is a good thing. Nobody rags on you for it if you're with the right people. I keep stressing that if you're with the right people. Um, it's, it's good. Uh, I sleep better. I eat better. I work out. I work. And I don't mind working. I don't look for excuses not to go to work anymore, hungover. Or there's a party going on that I don't want to miss because of work. It's, it's great. Um, it's hard finding new things to do, new people to do them with. But if you do it, and if you face it, and if you do it honestly, it's happy. It's a very happy life.